Hey everybody, I'm going to show you how to schedule a Zoom meeting. Uh, there's two ways you can do this. One way is to log on to the Zoom website and go to meetings, and then you can click the schedule meeting. Uh, the other way you can do it is go to the Zoom program on your computer, and they both work the same way. So I'm going to show you using the program on your computer. Uh, you're going to open it and click schedule. Then the default will be your name Zoom meeting, but you can change that to whatever you want. band period three or whatever sixth grade band music third grade choir um it's gonna you're gonna select the time you want the meeting if it's a one-time thing but if it's for a class i'd probably recommend uh, doing a reoccurring meeting and they can use the same link for the same meeting each time um, it's going to give you a numeric password but you can also change that to something else that's easier for the student to remember each time um, there are a lot of presets here that I would not mess with. Um, I have mine connected to my Outlook calendar, so it'll always create an invite uh, that I can share or just have on my own calendar. And then there's also some advanced options uh, that have some presets like enable waiting room and mute participants upon entry. Uh, so when you have everything the way you want it, then you're just gonna click schedule. And for me, it's going to create a calendar invite for my own calendar. Uh, I could invite other people to that if I want. Like I was doing teachers for students, I probably wouldn't do that. Um, it's going to give you all the information for the meeting. Usually, uh, all that students are really going to need is this top part right here. Um, and really, it's just the link and the password are mostly what they're going to need. But sometimes it's helpful to have the meeting ID. So if you want to copy that and put it in a Canvas or Seesaw class, um, that's where you can get that information. And now it should also show up in uh, my saved meetings. So uh, here's the one I just did, band period three. I also have all my other meetings here for teacher meetings that are reoccurring meetings. Um, so if I click on band period three, I, this is where I'm going to go to start the meeting. When that's time to do that, I can copy the invitation to my clipboard to send to people. Uh, if I want to change it, I can edit it or delete it. Um, and then also if I click this show meeting invitation here, it's going to show me what I just copied to my clipboard. So that's all the inf information and the, the link is right here if I need to send that. So uh, that's how you uh, schedule a meeting. Uh, hopefully that was helpful. Let me know if you have any questions.